very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is salah speaking i am really very happy look at that what's happening right now i have actually taken the signal from our premium group this is the recorder uh, i took the signal from our premium group as you can see all of the signals has reached the take profit levels except uh, chfgpy we closed it with seven pips of loss however i have taken the signal of shorting the pound aud and it has already reached above 30 uh, 30 pips of profit actually it's going right now in 33 pips of profit and we have sent to the members to close or oh, sorry informing them that it has hidden the take profit number one 30 pips of profit and i have made 106 dollars just like that easily thank you angela this was really amazing and very good signal it was very helpful and it has delivered a lot of profit uh, for everyone especially for me now because i was about to record and i decided that it is really a good signal and i have to take i have to take it and i have taken the signal indeed and as you can see we have make it in a good profit actually we are doing very well since yesterday as you can see these are the signals that we have sent today they are going in the profit as well and yesterday we have sent all these signals we closed only two of them in a very small losses against euro and zd euro cad have reached a very good uh, profit levels and i believe monday also uh, was also a good day as you can see uh, we closed only one trade in loss however the remaining signals went in oh but today is tuesday sorry today is tuesday yeah that was from the last week sorry my bad my bad sorry guilty so as you can see yes this is the uh, signals so yeah everything is absolutely going very well and we have made good profit uh, at the opening of this live trading video so uh, if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact de details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's move right now to the live trading session. And actually, um, we just made, we have just made actually $100 profit from the signal of the pound AUD. And I'm going to use that. Uh, let me tell you my plan actually. My plan, oh, what is my tool? So the plan right now is because I have made a profit of $100 from selling uh, the pound AUD based on our sig uh, signal, I'm going to invest this amount on the next trade of scalping the 20 pips a day. Therefore, we need now to focus on the pound pairs and I'm going to increase the lot size because as I said, we are having here $100 that was a profit have been made just now and that is actually going to be, be good for uh, investing on the next trade so uh, actually today i'm planning to use the 20 pips a day strategy on the pound pairs all of them if possible uh, as you know my friends this pa the, the pair uh, the, the pound currency actually all of the pairs which have pound in it can give you really a lot of profits if you are uh, a day trader and you are just looking for the most profitable uh, deals uh, i'm telling you focus on the pound the pound can give you really a lot of profits along with gold and if you want also euro nzd can also deliver you a good profits however in this video we're going to focus on the pound only so let's start with the pound nzd now from the from the first look at the one hour time frame we can see that the pound, uh, the pound nzd is right now first, uh, facing a support level however uh, we are right now on the third attempt as we can see we're having right here support number one support two and right now the pair is uh, ranging on support number three this is two therefore i really prefer to wait and don't take any decisions because as i'm telling you my strategy is always to focus on the first and the second attempt of any support or resistance third one is a no for me i usually avoid that because it's not safe and if you're a day trader and you are actually opening the trades every day then you want to find the safe strategy or the safe uh, method of trading therefore it's really better if you avoid uh, the third attempt uh, or farther farther so uh, i have switched now to the 15 minute time frame let's just now switch on the other time oh sorry on the other pairs to see what they can give us look at that oh uh Pound AUD is even falling for now almost 40 pips of profit. Fantastic. I think it's going to reach uh, the take profit number two very shortly. Uh, that's a good sign. Good. Uh, now I'm looking at the pound CAD. So far, nothing yet good for shorting. 
um, pound JPY still also not on the best level for short let me tell you here now I'm on the 15 minute time frame and as you can see right here uh, the pound JPY was facing a strong resistance right here that resistance is currently being broken out by this candle if this candle is gonna be a bearish breakout candle then I'm gonna wait for the market to reverse at that support level and go a little bit more up retesting that resistance and from that point I'm going to short the pound JPY again but only if this was a bearish breakout candle you should never short any pair without seeing the bearish breakout candle this is right here that is not actually a bearish breakout candle because this is actually a candle from the resistance we are having here a resistance and the market has reversed right here so this is cannot be considered as a bearish breakout candle because you are having right here the resistance and you have in here that resistance has become a new support so you must have a bearish breakout candle exactly at that level not above it it should be here breaking out that support level or breaking out from the support level therefore uh, I'm gonna have to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you if this is gonna be as I said a bearish breakout candle and then we are going to short again at the next uh, retest of the resistance that's gonna happen after about 15 minutes so let's now pause the recording and I'll be back to you shortly and look what's happening right now I'm gonna short the pound JPY right away as I told you my friends look at that that support right here has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle that's uh, actually this is not looks like a bearish can uh, break, a breakout candle however remember we are right now on the 15 minute time frame so let's now move to the five minute time frame hold on on the five minute time frame we can see clearly that we had here a previous support level that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and right now that resistance right here is also becoming another resistance that level of the resistance is being respected again therefore I had to start the short right here and as you can see right now we are going into the profit and now the candle is ranging on that level I believe it's gonna fail eventually and look at that yes finally it's falling down and let me tell you the beautiful thing about trading the pound pairs <coughs> remember I'm now on the five minute time frame so I want to aim only 20 pips, pips only from this trade look at that so all I need to do is waiting for the market to fall from this level here to that previous support level but however if I go to the 15 minute time frame it's really small it's nothing anyway um, I want to stick to my strategy and my strategy says that if I have placed my trade or my sell or buy at a certain level I have to exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance now sadly the nearest support to my entry is laying exactly right here uh, this setup here doesn't really provide me a, pos uh, a potential 20 pips because I have to stick to the rules and the rules as I said I have to exit my trade right here meaning at 11 pips only instead of 20 so since I'm actually trading on one lot size I'm not gonna go crazy and I'm gonna uh, wait some more time and I'm, I'm gonna actually wait for this trade to finish before moving to the next trade I'm not gonna open two trades with the one lot size it's, that's insane so anyway uh, let me just wait and see what will gonna happen with this trade of course don't forget to set uh, just a stop loss just in case if anything unexpected happened might actually change the, di the direction of the market so uh, it goes well so far let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show shortly to show you what will gonna happen with this trade <clears throat> and as you can see uh, the pound uh, AUD short uh, sorry uh, the pound JPY short is again making uh, giving us a lot of profit and I'm going to close the trade right now making total I think about 10 pips maybe <clears throat> yeah almost 10 pips of profit have been made from the trade of the pound uh, JPY today the pound is giving us really a lot of profits I'm, I'm very happy about it the account has grown almost $200 in less than 10 minutes amazing that's really good uh, let's now look at the other pairs of the pound and let's try to find the next setup so now <clears throat> what we can expect right now actually from the pound on the other pairs um, currently actually we cannot expect much because the pair ha uh, for example on the pound NZD 
the pair is approaching a previous resistance as we can see right here this was a previous resistance number one and this was uh, sorry this was resistance number one and this was here resistance number two and here is three and this is actually the bullish breakout candle so the pair actually actually has met the breakout from that resistance therefore we can expect that resistance to become right now the new support of course this is only on the 15 minute time frame we need to move now to the bigger time frame just to be sure what i'm doing now let's look at the at the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame however look at that i don't see actually any support at that level we can see that there is here a support level however it is above the level i have marked and there was actually no other previous support level what does that mean that mean you should never buy the pound at the moment because as i told you that the, as uh, um as per my strategy rules we need to start looking at the left side on the bigger time frame to find a previous support or resistance for if I'm, if I'm planning to start actually buying the pair, there must be a previous support at the very same level. If I'm planning to sell, there must be a previous resistance at the previous level. In this scenario here, we don't see any previous support level. Therefore, and just to be safe, uh, I'm going to avoid actually buying the pound and ZD at the moment. So the, the, uh, that's the reason, uh, the reason actually we always have to look at the 15 minute time frame and the bigger time frame. As I'm telling you always my friends, 15 minute time frame or let's start the other way. 4 hour time frame is only going to tell you if you should sell or buy only. You should never decide anything from the 4 hour time frame except that you should know if you should buy or sell. 15 minute time frame is telling me where where should i actually buy or sell so if you decide to start selling on the four hour time frame you need to switch to the 15 minute time frame and decide where you can start sell because you cannot just sell randomly at any place just because you see the the pair on a resistance on the four hour time frame and of course vice versa if you see uh, uh that is the four hour time frame is on a resistance level meaning we are looking for a buy order so you will switch to the 15 minute time frame or five minute time frame and you will decide where i can start buying the pair so that's exactly what i have done here and therefore let's just uh, again uh, switch uh, between the the pairs to find exactly where we can start the next buy or sell now um here is also not good at all let's move to the pound cad pound gpy pound chf actually the pound is really good for the short recently uh sorry uh, currently i think it's gonna be good for shorting uh, most of the pound pairs However, currently we don't see a safe place to sell or buy. Therefore, I think I'm going to have to pause the recording for a while until I find the, the next setup that I can rely on. So let's now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you in a few minutes. All right. So let me explain to you that we are back to the pound AUD. And let me tell you exactly what I'm seeing right now for the pound AUD. Um, as we can see right now on daily candles this price action right here uh, this price action here indicating that the pair is definitely gonna continue to the fall so therefore pound AUD is really good for the short right now uh, in general today pound AUD is really good for the sell especially of course seeing that this price action has not been uh, 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 um, appeared randomly it has appeared actually on a previous support level which was also a previous resistance as well and remember i'm on the daily candles moving to the four hour time frame we can see that the pair is actually going to continue the fall to at least hit that previous support level we can, here we can see we had the previous support number one and the pair is, is going to definitely continue the fall until it hit the support number two so the, that being said let's move to the 15 minute time frame and actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to short right away. That's better. Let me explain the reason. Um, for the pound AUD, the bearish momentum is really very strong. And the pair doesn't uh, showing any signal for a bullish reversal. It just keeps falling more and more down. And what I have done right here is actually what I did is shorting the pound AUD. As you can see, we have here a previous support level. That support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle. Now, 
on the very same level of that previous support we had right here of course another resistance remember I am right now on the 15 minute time frame so that resistance right here is definitely gonna be respected uh, after the seeing this strong bearish momentum and it's gonna continue the fall what I did right now here is seeing the candles on daily candles or, or sorry on, on the daily time frame and the four hour time frame the bearish momentum is so strong that I don't even think that the pair is uh, gonna rise a little bit more to hit that level of the resistance I think it's gonna continue the fall all the way until it hit that previous support level so what I did counting the pips I mean uh, if the trade is gonna go against me it's gonna go for um, 13 pips maximum I don't think it's gonna even go higher than that and that's why I had to place the sell order anyway we have made uh, more than or actually almost $200 profit from the signal of Angela and from my own trade on the pound uh, JPY so I am totally okay uh, risking the profit that I have just made on the next trade I agree or I have to admit actually that using one lot size on such entry was not a smart move however I'm I'm getting actually greedy a little bit here because the pound is really appealing I mean it's giving us a lot of profits and I don't want to miss these profits or this opportunity by using a smaller time for, uh, smaller uh, lot size so let's just set a stop loss right here it's gonna be for 30 pips and the take profit is gonna be almost 26 pips uh, the reason I set the stop loss bigger than the take profit level is only uh, the stop loss is right there only to stop the bleeding or uh, stop any catastrophe can happen if that trade is gonna go against me suddenly for any unexpected reasons but I'm certainly sure that the, the bearish momentum is quite strong and the pair definitely is gonna continue the fall right now I mean imagine yourself buying the pound AUD now, right now that's gonna be in my opinion the worst decision ever because the bearish momentum as I said is very strong and especially on the one hour time oh, sorry on the daily candles on daily candles actually that is really good for the sell we cannot expect to buy the pair at this moment so therefore I had to place the uh, sell order right here even if the trade is gonna go against me it's gonna go only for very few pips only maybe 13 14 pips and that's it so uh, let me know please uh, stop the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the pound AUD alright so this trade is getting me nervous right now I think it's gonna uh, go to a bullish reversal right now after hitting that previous support level uh, the pair has been actually ranging at that entry let me just explain to you that I have drawn this uh, previous support line front of you and I have made my entry right here and I told you that the pair seems like it's not gonna exceed that previous resistance level right here and that is exactly what happened the pair as you can see has went against my direction for almost 16 pips and reversed exactly at that previous resistance and right now it is ranging on that entry level which I have also sorry on my entry level and actually I was thinking to close the trade now with the loss um, however on the four hour chart is it still it looks like it's still good for the short however I'm following the price action on the 15 minute time frame and actually it depends right now on how this candle is gonna close if this candle gonna close like that after four minutes if it's gonna close like that as a pin bar then I'm gonna close this trade with the loss and we will recover easily from the next trade otherwise we are gonna just keep the trade running and hopefully it's gonna be a full bar candle so again allow me please to pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you how this candle will close to decide if we are going to close this trade or not and thankfully as I told you the trade is going well in the profit and it's it's going so far in 12 pips of profit and actually I'm, I'm planning to close the trade right now because I'm tired of it and there is absolutely no need to be so greedy the account is already in almost $270 of profit so far and uh, the reason I decided to close the trade right now is looking here at the 15 minute time frame again we can see that the candle is right now on that previous support level and that support level has become already here another support look at this tail here this tail here is actually another support level uh, that means this support here is gonna keep its position or sorry it has already kept its position as a support here and it might actually keep its position right here and there is a possibility that the pair actually might continue the bullish reversal before finally falling down but anyway I decided that it's better to just close this trade and finish or end with it 
so actually I'm gonna have to end this video it's almost 20 minutes right now I believe uh, I believe that was uh, fine and I really encourage everyone to give a try to trade the pound pairs believe me my friends they are very profitable pairs and they can give you really a lot of profits if you trade them well but please 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 be careful extra wise when you are trading them because they are so much profitable yet they are so much uh, dangerous they are it's actually risky to trade the, the pound pairs especially with the lot size i use here um if i don't know what i'm doing of course i would have uh, reduced the lot size but thankfully i'm expert and i know exactly what i'm doing anyway um i hope uh, i can actually make another live trading video but however i think today or tomorrow i'm gonna have to make the new midweek analysis video as you can see thankfully all of the trades i have sent on the weekly analysis are going very well in the profit so far and i think it's time to make a new uh, midweek analysis video today or tomorrow so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching